Hey, thanks for tuning in to KSL Outdoors. I'm Adam Eagle. Well, the hunts are finally upon us. It's time to gather your friends, gather your family, head up into the hills, look for that big buck or big bull you've been dreaming about all year long. But just know that conservation officers are out in force looking for those breaking the law. Tonight, that's exactly what they're looking for. As hunters, we use decoys as targets to fine tune our aim. Tonight, conservation officers are also using decoys, but their aim is the unlawful poacher. Tonight we have a uh, opening the deer hunt tomorrow uh, for the archery hunt. And so tonight we are going to put up our robo deer and just make sure everybody stays honest. Has it worked in the past? It has. We've had many of opportunities where people have uh, uh, you know, stopped and looked and even taken pictures and thought it's kind of fun, but then there's those people that just jump out of the vehicle or even roll down a window and pull a gun out of the vehicle and shoot from their vehicle right off of the road. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of issues we've come across in the past. So it's getting dark and we're headed out. Probably be out here for three, four hours, at least till midnight or one o'clock and, uh, and see if the decoy gets spotted and hopefully everybody behaves and we just go out here and sit in the dark for a few hours. What do you think? So we set it up, uh, it's off the road, you know, back off of the hill a little ways. Because it is archery season, we don't put it too far off the road because we want to make sure that people have the feeling of, oh, hey, uh, this isn't too far from the road, I can really quickly shoot it. You want to stand back by the trucks and yell at me and tell me if you think it looks good? Yeah. That sounds great. Okay. Perfect. This decoy looks like the real deal, from the pivoting head, the wagging tail, even the eyes. It's a reflective tape we use yeah. that uh, as the cars come up of course the light gets it and it reflects naturally like a deer's eye. We are gonna hide ourselves hidden on the back side or the other side of the road. Okay. Um, we'll just watch cars that come up by and when they stop uh, we'll just continually watch them and hopefully it'll just be uh, they'll look look at it take a picture and move on and and we don't have to address it but if in fact there is a activity where they do shoot then we will engage. Yeah so if somebody comes up and they shine the light, you'll have to get your binoculars out and watch so that you can positively testify that which person was the one that shot. There's somebody coming up the road. State wildlife agencies across the country have for several years been rolling out robo deer to nab unscrupulous hunters. And their efforts, including here in Utah, seem to be paying off. This isn't suspicious. It's huddled in the grass. Yeah, they probably didn't even see us. That's probably right. In four hours, backing up. we have dozens of vehicles drive by, but only four stop to take a look. Took a picture. Hey, did you hear it? It's a decoy. I think he said that, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> one guy wanted a closer look, but no one did anything illegal. Is that really a giant stag right there? Yes, that is a decoy stag. So I, I just didn't want you going up and messing with it. All right. Uh, all right. Are you coming up to camp? Yep. Okay, well, do you don't have any firearms or anything in your vehicle? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, awesome. Okay, drive safe. Have a good night. What would you say to somebody that pulls up on a deer like that and is contemplating something? Doing? Think twice. It's not worth it. Never is. What kind of fine would they face? We have some trophy requirements that could take it upwards of $8,000. So. Yeah, it could be very steep. Would you call tonight a success then? Oh, very much so. I think robo deals ready for bed. Conservation officers say they'll be conducting this deer decoy and even elk decoy operation throughout the hunts this year. And even though we weren't successful tonight, they do say they believe it is a success and that they're getting the word out so that good people don't do bad things. Hey, more here in a moment, but first, tonight's climate quiz question.